see Beautiful Kauai Beautiful Kauai And it's calling Yes, calling to me Beautiful Kauai Beautiful Kauai In the midst of her grotto Mother Nature made her home And the falls of Wailua Where lovers often roam So I'll return to my isle across the sea Beautiful Kauai, beautiful Kauai, where my true love is waiting for me. Beautiful Kauai, beautiful Kauai. Some 
someday I'll return to stay Till then I will remember you And every bright star we made wishes upon Love me always, promise always Ooh, you'll remember too
sweet fragrant meadows of dawn and dew there was love all around but I never heard it singing no I never heard it at all till there was you Till there was you Well, we're kind of in that midway-ish here. Um, I'm not going to talk about any objects, but, because I don't have, I'm running out of historical objects to share, but, um, Maybe you guys saw this picture I posted here on the Instagram uh, this week of Steve Caballero. Yeah, I know it's backwards right now. Yeah. The can't, I can't do anything about it, which is really annoying. I re should be able to flip this around, but alas, the Instagram platform does not let me. Anyway, so Steve Caballero, 1981, August, um, was my first contest that I ever went to. And so this was a picture that I stared at over and over and over again for weeks after I got the film back. And uh, yes, looking at that board. Yeah, I gotta have that board. That was the one I wanted. And then um, I did actually get the orange Caballero board in, uh, for, for Christmas in 1981. And it was the full uh, Christmas story kind of thing. And, you know, we opened up all the presents and, and there, I was just like, Oh, I, I didn't get my red rider carbine <laughs> basically. And then my dad, you know, after everything's kind of settled, he's all, what's that over there? And he's like pointing over there and they had these like, you know, this old console radio system, stereo system. And, uh, so the speaker cabinets were detached and he's all, what's that over there? I'm like, where? He's all there, like by the speaker. And I noticed that he had moved the speaker cabinet just a little bit away from the, the main center console. And in there, wrapped in brown paper, was my first orange Caballero board, like, like this one. This is just a reissue, but yes. So that's what was hiding in the shadows, um, yeah. And it was one of the, the early ones that was the fiber light ones, it was thinner and, and lighter. But, um, but yeah, so that was the board that I got for Christmas 1981. Yeah, full on Christmas, Christmas story style thing. Dad sneaking it up on me and um, So always, always a good memory of that first board for sure. Um, but so let's let's talk about that first contest that I went to um, at the Del Mar Skate Ranch. So it was August fifteenth and sixteenth, um, and I actually have I'm going to go over here because I have a little page up that gave me some information on the contest. Um, so yeah, so I was very excited to to see my first pro contest because up until then. I'd seen like a few um, pro skaters. Uh, by then, I of course met uh, Billy Ruff and Neil Blender would come down, and you know, and Lester Kasai was still amateur. Tony was still amateur at the time, um, but Kevin Staub. So there was definitely some some good skaters that I had met, but this was the first time that I was going to get to see uh, others like Dwayne Peters and um, Steve Hirsch. I think was there. Alan Losey. Um, uh, Mike Smith and Mike McGill and so it was kind of this big deal for me. I was very excited. So um, I have some pictures from there. <laughs> this one is actually from the end of the contest. Uh, I, I was actually afraid to go into the pool area after the contest. So my brother-in-law at the time, no longer my brother-in-law, but anyway, he went in there and, and took a picture of of Steve Caballero for me because I was like, he's sitting right there. And he said, just go in there and take a picture. And I wouldn't do it. So my brother-in-law went in there and snapped a photo of Stevie <laughs> sitting on the little entry thing. And actually over here, I didn't realize until later, the one and only Stacey Peralta. So yeah, 
Bones Brigade, early Bones Brigade. Um, but very, very excited that, to get to see Steve Cavalera ride in person. Um, and then I also got to see uh, Stacy Peralta um, ride in the freestyle event, which he got second place um, skating freestyle. He did not skate the bowl, didn't skate the keyhole, but uh, and, and entered freestyle Steve Rocco won. Um, who else was there? Mike Fulmer got third. Bruce Logan, still in there, got fourth. And Billy Ruff got fifth in freestyle. Um, speaking of Billy Ruff, see, my pictures are really bad. You have to look really closely, but way on the other side of the pool is Billy Ruff doing a backside air from across the way. And that's really high. For 1981, that's a big backside air. Um, this was also the contest that Billy Ruff unveiled the unit, so the Miller Flip and a Half, the first um, aerial 540 maneuver for skateboarding. Billy Ruff, the unit, so he, uh, he unveiled that at this contest and it garnered him first place. And uh, um, I do remember that it was head to head at the end between Steve Caballero and Billy Ruff. And so I'm like, oh, you know, I'd met Billy and he was really cool to me. And he was kind of like um, one of my first pros that I got to befriend. And uh, um, so it was like, oh, you know, I wanted both those guys to win. <laughs> so, but Billy did the unit and uh, uh, I think Stevie fell in his second run. And so he ended up with second place. Um, followed by Dwayne Peters in third. Um, I do have some some really bad uh, Super 8 film footage of the contest, um, but it's I, I had basically two rolls of film that for the whole weekend. So a lot of it is just like one shot of somebody doing something and then somebody doing that. So it, the way it edits, you can't tell what's going on. It's just kind of a nightmare of... <laughs> quick editing um but in all that i i did get steve caballero's two final runs and actually if you go to my youtube channel you can find them i think if you look at i i, I mistakenly put it as 1982 but billy ruff steve caballero delmar skate rants 1982 um this is what they come up and i have billy skating uh, at night in the keyhole and then stevie's two final runs from this contest, August 1981. So yeah, that's on there if you want to find it. Um, this one, I don't know, I, I don't know who this is. I think this is Steve Hirsch, but it, it, you can't tell. It's really far away, he's doing an Andrecht, but I got out the magnifying glass and um, I could see that it's a Veriflex setup. You could see the Veriflex trucks and then the, the inset rails of the Fair, Fairflex board, but the reflection on from the sun you can't see. I'm going with Steve Hirsch, because I had not seen him skate in person, and so very excited to see him. Um, other Fairflex rider here, <laughs> too close, Mr. Alan Losey doing an Andrecht. And, uh, um, you know, I'd seen a pictures of Alan Losey in the magazine, but um, he had grown like a foot <laughs> since all the <laughs> pictures I'd see. So I was expecting this little kid. Uh, and then, you know, here comes Alan Losey, who's like 5'8 or something. Big guy. Uh, but yeah, ripping, ripping Alan Losey. Uh, really incredible to see him skate in person. And then, of course, you know, he kind of just kept skating. We, when all the older guys started to drop out, he kept going and then got even better and better and better. And uh, what an inspiration, for sure. Um, the last three photos that I have um, are of a young fella named Christian Hisoy. <laughs> but, but, no pun intended, here we go. Butt shots. Yeah, that's all I could get because he was coming straight at me. There's a backside air. <laughs> And another backside air. Now keep in mind that, you know, I'm kind of sitting up on the bleachers, well, the first row of the bleachers. So my head is, is, is like four and a half feet up. So that's a pretty good size backside air um, for the amateur division. Uh, Christian Asoy riding for Sims, riding a Brad Bowman setup. And uh, yeah, still riding for Tracker with the Copers. Yeah. All those indie guys. 
Ran for tracker first. Uh, and then this is the uh, mid, well, shall we call it G twist at this point. Yeah, they've uh, trying to be a little bit more conscious about the names of tricks because uh, that one, originally called the gay twist, um, but now referred to in, at least on uh, the uh, networks as the G twist. Because uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately it, it, uh, it was one of those things that Steve Caballero had had the, the, uh, the Caballero and uh, m like most people then could not do them. I have never been able to do the, the 360, the fakie 360 Ollie Caballero. And so uh, Neil Blender and Lance Mountain decided they would grab and uh, they, uh, they didn't like the way it felt. Thus the name, <laughs> yes. But yeah, so yeah, cause he was like, yeah, this is blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, so now it's a G twist, you know, trying to trying to grow up a little bit, trying to move forward. Anyway, so that's, that's uh, it's Christian and his Mad Rats, Ryan for Tracker on a Brad Bowman. And, um, but yeah, so I was there both days and uh, kind of sat right in the front and, and watched most of it from the pool. In fact, I think I missed a lot of the freestyle because I didn't want to lose my seat at the keyhole. Um, so I missed the finals of the freestyle, but, but oh well. Um, my first contest, and uh, I got teased a lot by um, my, my good friend, Tony, <laughs> Tony Hawk, who got third um, in, in the amateurs. Christian actually won. Tony Magnuson got second. And the Tony Hawk got third as amateurs. Um, but uh, I would always reference the Del Mar Tracker Pro-Am because I remembered all these little things about the day. And so he would always make fun of me for remembering everything. Del Mar Tracker Pro-Am. <laughs> and, and rightfully so. But hey, you know, something that's life-changing when you, when you see something like that, an event like that in person, and you get to see your heroes ride in person. Um, it's, it's something that you take with you and you keep with you. And then another thing that I, <laughs> I will keep with me from, uh, from that day, um, I remember, uh, seeing articles in, in Thrasher about other contests and, uh, there's a shot of Dwayne Peters and Jay Smith in the bathroom at some other contest shaving people's heads. And, uh, so <laughs> that whole weekend I was mortified to go to the restroom because I thought for sure Dwayne Peters and Jay Smith were gonna shave my head if I went in there. Um, but alas, I, I did make it in there and uh, yeah, and did not, did not end up with a, a shaved head. But uh, yeah, I was, I was certain that the punk rockers were gonna attack me and shave my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is this thing called love? This funny thing called love. Just who can solve? Why should it make a fool of me? I saw you there one wonderful day, but you took my heart and threw it away. That's why I ask the Lord in heaven above Just what is this thing called love?
You're 